So these things right here play a huge role in our lives, but are we really utilizing these phones to the best of our abilities? As truck drivers, we're probably on the road most of the time. Whether you're doing local, regional, highway, tanker driver, flatbed driver, it doesn't matter. These things are a huge part of your lives and let's just make sure that we're using these phones to the best of our ability. So drivers are getting sentenced left, right and center. I hear articles all the time about drivers getting sentenced for texting and driving. So one of the things I'd like to teach you guys is just how do you properly use this cell phone? So let's talk to the cell phone. Hey Siri, send a text message to Johnny Dispatch. Hey Johnny, I'm on the road. We'll be there in about 45 minutes. Your message to Johnny Dispatch says, Hey Johnny, I'm on the road. We'll be there in about 45 minutes. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. So the way that I've gotten used to my phone is literally by strapping it down and not touching it. Now, if you are going to train yourself for three, four days just not to touch your phone, I promise you, you will learn every single feature that this phone has. Because when you do voice to text, you can text your wife, you could text your dispatcher, you could text your mechanic shop, you could text pretty much anybody, as long as you store the contact properly in your phone. So, well, Johnny is sending me back, I need to tell him to disregard. So you really wanna get into the habit of training your phone to talk to you and you talking to your phone. And the only way you're gonna do that is by not touching your phone. Drivers today, out there and it's not their fault, we are distracted. Literally, this thing gives me a notification every probably 30 seconds, either text message or uh, you know a YouTube channel that I'm subscribed to and I love will give me a notification of when a new video comes out. So we're constantly getting distracted and when we are touching your phone, we really need to get away from touching our phone. But these things are amazing and there are some apps that you need to start using if you are a truck driver to help you benefit uh, from these apps. These apps are amazing. Uh, I know our truck drivers use them all the time, so I wanted to share some of these apps with you. One of the things that I see a transition for truck drivers is probably their shoebox. So the shoebox is what we all used to have. I know my father used to have it, where he put all of his receipts inside the shoebox. Whatever on-road expenses that he had, he would put it inside the shoebox, and then sometime throughout the year, when they would go to the accountant, they would take out this shoebox, and they would go through these receipts. Now today, with the fuel cards that we have, with all on-road expenses that that, that a driver carries, you can literally be signed up to QuickBooks and you could just upload images to your QuickBooks profile. QuickBooks is not sponsoring this video. I'm just saying of how convenient it is to use QuickBooks. What I am going to recommend is a company called M7 Taxes that does taxes and specializes in taxes for truck drivers because when you sign up with them, you get a free subscription to QuickBooks with your subscription to M7 Taxes. And if you do need a 30 minute free consultation for taxes, please use the link below, fill out this form and have them reach you. So definitely QuickBooks Online is a great way to get rid of that shoebox. That shoebox is ancient history and if you're still using it, you should not be using it because if you have a normal tax accountant, they do not need your receipts for meals. They just need a download of your logbooks and with a download of your logbooks, they can claim your meals on a daily or weekly basis. So a lot of truck drivers rave about this app called Trucker Path. Now this app has over 54,000 ratings. So you obviously know that it's a very popular app. It includes more than 7,000 truck stops in the United States and Canada, updates on parking availability, truck driver forms, information on weight stations and scales, trip planning options, plenty of job listings. So it can help you find fuel stops and truck clearances. It saves your navigation history. It helps you find your next truck. So a lot you can do on this app, I'm highly recommended by other truck drivers, and I think it is well worth to give it a try. So as you know, I'm a huge fuel guy, so I'm going to recommend this pre-pass motion app for weight station. It helps to save fuel and money. The app can be paired with a transponder. So if you have a fast pass, it can be paired to this app. The app helps you regulate the amount you spend on fuel. Phillips are deducted from your linked credit card. You can get 25 cents per gallon discount with a free forever card. Drivers can click the specific states to find out the availability of gas beforehand. Now, the couple of apps that I've stumbled upon are apps that will help you scan your documents. There is a way to do this from your iPhone. I will probably do a separate maybe short video on this so make sure you're a subscriber to this channel but these apps that are scanners are starting to fade away because you 
are able to scan it directly from your cell phone. Uh, you just take a document, you click the image, and there's a way to scan it. So this way you don't need to spend money on any mobile scanning app. Now, another great app is the Pilot Flying J app. So this is a great app. A lot of drivers rave about it. Free shower rewards, access to parking spaces, reserves your shower spots at certain locations, free meal on your birthday, redeem your points for discounts, free drinks after signing up, reserve a parking spot, the app saves digital receipts. So that's great, the fact that it saves digital receipts, mobile fueling options, information on available amenities. So when you are going to stop at a Pilot of Flying J, this app is great because you can actually reserve your parking. The next one, for my nerds out there, if you guys are like me and like numbers, my radar weather, okay? So why do drivers use this app? So it's not just to get the weather, but it gives you current alerts unexpected weather so if you're driving down from illinois to georgia and you're going to hit heavy winds it will alert you and it gives you information on wind speed why is this important again if you're like me and you are a numbers guy and are into your fuel consumption then this app is definitely for you because you will know which routes to avoid now this is an app that i see that's becoming more and more popular it's called pocket casts it's a podcast player so there is a free membership user friendly interface access to thousands of podcasts you can download and listen to audio offline so you really don't have to be online to listen to it so podcasts are becoming really really popular a couple of companies have reached out to me to do a podcast i'm thinking about it looking into it but i feel like this is a really really a popular thing that's taking off especially in the last maybe 12 to 18 months the next one will get us into the audio playbooks so audible audio books and stories so it's either for kids for adults they have a wide collection of audio books you can customize your library you can listen to audio books offline sign in with an amazon account user-friendly interface and free first month trial so audio books i mean we're on the road i feel like the cb radios have completely died out so why not listen to an audio book on the time that you don't listen to music so one of the most popular apps out there is Waze. Now, why Waze? I, need, I mean, I know why I use it whenever I go to New York, when I drive down there, or if I go to drives to the cottage, then I turn Waze on all the time. Why? Because it gives me alerts on what's happening and it's a live alert while I'm driving. So if there's a police officer on the right, then it notifies me in advance to slow down. If there is uh, somebody broken down, if somebody on the side of the road, I think it is a great tool. I love it and I enjoy using this app all the time. The next one is Gaz Buddy. So if I was in a truck, this would probably be my favorite app out there just because I am a numbers guy and I like to find the cheapest gas prices. So if you put that you are going to Tennessee and if you're in uh, Buffalo, New York, then it will populate the cheapest gas as along the route. The great thing about this app is that you can enter the kind of truck that you are driving. It literally populates the cheapest gas on route for your truck and for the size of your commercial vehicle and it is a great saving tool. So sometimes when I use this app, I would see that along the 401 highway, there are gas stations and the gas stations are really, really expensive, the on routes. And then if I come out on the next exit and I would drive literally 30 seconds, then I get a gas station that charges about 30 or 35 cents per liter less. So in the US, I'm sure you have the same things. It is extremely beneficial and a lot of drivers rave about this app. So enjoy it and use it. And now for the last app, we are going to, well actually Dean, our uh, old school bodybuilder truck driver should be talking about this app, but Rolling Strong. So Rolling Strong uh, tells you the nearest fitness depot, okay, fitness spots. Monitor your sleeping patterns, it helps you track your calories, redeem points for rewards, online coaching to get fit, it reminds you to hydrate. So really good app, all about health, spots for the gym where you can go work out. I highly recommend it and I'm sure maybe Dean can do a whole video on this app. To my truck drivers out there, if you are a company driver, owner operator, lease operator, I would like to know what apps do you use that help you out there on the road. Give me some ideas, let me know what I should talk about next and which apps should I recommend to other truck drivers. If we unite and if we can populate this data together, I'm sure it would benefit other truck drivers that are using apps out there and whatever app you recommend, maybe there's another driver that can really benefit from that app. So share in the comments down below. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.